Hi, welcome to the MuleSoft tutorial. This is Akash. In this video, we'll understand about the file module. Basically, we'll use file module and following things we'll do. So my scenario is first I need to auto detect the file and automatically trigger my flow. Auto triggering when the file is present in particular location and then we will read the file and then we will basically show output in logger file content in logger so three tasks will do one will place one file in particular location after placing the file it will automatically trigger the flow and then it will read the file from that particular flow and then logger will show the output of the file so to start with first we will create one new project in mule studio and the project name i will give as file module and click on finish So this will create one new project file module and we have one XML file file module.xml. So to start with the file module we need to add that module first because by default only two modules we have that is HTTP and socket and to use the file module we will drag one file module inside this. And this will automatically detect the file module and add the entry in pom.xml also it will download all the jars required for that particular file module. Now what we'll do, we'll drag one on new or update directory. I will just drag this and I will use this as an inbound connector. Inbound connector because whenever I am placing a file in that particular location, I want that file to be auto picked. So triggering point will be this. Now let's take a scenario. I have folder files inside C drive and inside that I have two folder input and output and I have one employees file which contains the employee data in CSV format so we have employee ID name prefix first name last name initials then last name then we have gender email father's name mother's names and this is basically an employee data now I will place this file inside this inbound and this my news of program should pick this file and uh, read the content so to start with first I need to configure this so to configure this we need to click on add and here you will see the working directory so working directory is nothing but this is my working directory inside this I have input and output two folders so this is my working directory I will copy this and I will paste it over here click on ok Now I added the configuration. Now this is my directory from where I need to fetch. So I need to fetch it from input. So I will write input over here. And then I will add one logger which basically read the content of the file and send it in the console. So I will write payload. So whatever we are reading from this file that the content of that file will be in payload. So I am writing the payload and logger. Now so now this is one option that is recursively so recursively option is used when you want to recursively iterate inside the folder folder inside folder let's say take a scenario we have input folder inside this we have few more folders let's say input 1 input 2 input 3 and inside those folders we have few files so if you want to recursively go inside each folder and take the file we can use this recursive function but now we are not we will not use this so I'll just uh, unmark this and uh, I will quickly show you how this will work and then we'll see more stuff about the file module. So I'll just right click and uh, click on run as mule application. So first this will run on my local successfully build and then this will deploy on my local only.
so it is initializing my file module and uh, then it is successfully deployed by file module module now what we will do is we'll place one file inside the input and then we'll see what will happen so i'll copy this file and i will paste it over here this should trigger okay now we got this now you can see i'm it is reading the file and again it is reading again and again the file so i'm getting lots of loggers over here repeated loggers so for for now i will stop this and i will show you so this is my input this is reading this is basically we are reading this file and we are giving output in logger so this is my logger So now let's say you don't want to recursively read that particular each file again and again. So what you can do, one option is you can basically change. There's an option called auto delete inside this configuration. So if I will make this as true, this will read the file at once. And after reading the file, it will delete the file from that particular location. So I will save this. And now I will, there's no file inside input. We'll go back, we'll copy this for now and I will run this module. So this is deploying on my local. We'll wait for a minute and then we can see how this will work. So after deploying this, this will go to that particular location and try to find the file. But there is no file. So first I will, I will copy this and I will paste it inside this input. Now this triggered this. We got the file. I will stop this for now. And we uh, will go input. Refresh this. There's one more thing you need to check right click on the files and you need to check whether it is read only or not So if it is read only you need to change the read only Stuff now there is no file so this will read basically at once now Let's say you don't want that also you want to move that file into the archive location or some other location after reading So what you can do is you can just make it as false for now default and then there's an option move to directory so which directory we want to move we want to move to output so i will write output over here so we can take input or if you want to create a new folder let's say i created a new folder like moved so i will copy this location and i will paste it over here so after reading the file from the input this will move that particular file into the move folder now we want let's say we want to rename to the that particular file so what we'll do we'll write that into an expression and we'll get the file name from attributes so attributes dot file name then we have plus plus and i will append this with dot backup file i'll save this and then we'll again run this project and we'll see now what will happen so in input there is no file in mood also there is no file so i'll copy this file employee.csv and after successful deployment, I will paste that file into the input folder. And what this program will do is it will take the file, read that file and move that file into the move folder. So now it's successfully deployed. I will copy this and paste it over here. This will read the file once and deleted the file from here input. And this will move my file over here employee.csv.backup.
and I can open this file I will get the same data okay now in this way we can basically archive our files into a different folder now let's say you want to pull that particular file on a particular time period or every day we don't want that particular so they have the scheduling frequency that is the fixed frequency we have we can also write the cron expression but for now I will write the fixed frequency and here right now the by default is 10,000 millisecond that is one second so I will move it let's say 5 and I will put a second 5 second and for now I will delete all this stuff and I will again run this so this what we'll do is this will go to a particular location every five seconds and press the file. Let me deploy this application. And you can set the timing according to your business scenario. Let's say you need to go to that particular location and fetch file every day. So you can add the frequency one or if you have any cron tab, cron basically cron job or the cron timing, you can add the cron timing also. So I will just copy the file from this CSV, go to files, input, paste it over here. So this will not pick up the file immediately. This will go wait for five seconds and then pick up the file. So we got the file. Now every five, se five seconds this will go and pick up the file. So in this way basically we can use this file connector and uh, we can basically schedule the frequency. We can move the file to a particular location. Also we can take the backups. Also we can delete the file after reading. So the assignment for after this module is you need to create one project in which we'll have two types of flows. One, it takes a file from location and uh, it will move to the particular location after reading. And one, you need to set the frequency of that particular with, uh, let's say, one minute. So every one minute, it will go and pass the file. So that's it for this video. If you are facing any issue, I will upload this uh, project inside the lecture resources. You will find that particular project in resources. So thank you for watching this. See you next video.